All right. Uh, hello, YouTubing community. I think. How do you prefer to be called? Uh, I don't know. Um. So yeah. Uh. I'm just gonna be making a short video on what I have created. Um. With the Minecraft Pistons mod. We. Um. I don't know. I've been messing around with this mods for a couple days. I think I've come up with some pretty cool stuff. That hasn't been shown on YouTube. I mean, the first one here, obviously, I got this from Captain Sparkles. Whoever else made it is the, uh, whoever else made it is the self-opening door behind the wall thing, with the chest in it. Um, but uh, anyway, that was that was my first attempt try thing. My second attempt was at a hidden staircase, and um, that epic failed. Because, uh, yeah, I, I really didn't know what I was doing. Didn't plan it out well. And that's all that happens. It's just that opens up. And it's it's, it's pretty lame. I'm not going to lie. That that was pretty cool. <laughs> Still, overall machine, pretty lame. Uh, third thing I built, I saw Captain Sparkle's, um, his uh, bridge thing over lava. And I decided to maybe improve on that a little bit. So what happens is you step on the pressure plate. And uh, the lava or the pistons shoot out this sand bridge. Stepping off it doesn't close the sand bridge either. Um, you well, you walk across and then you step on that pressure plate, and the lava or the sand sinks in behind you. And so I thought that was pretty cool. It's just like an auto reset thing. I'll fly across. Maybe try it one more time. You just step on the pressure plate. You can step off, uh, and then walk across. Press it. Sand falls back in. I think that'd be good for like the entrance to a, uh, to some sort of a, um, trap, thing, maybe. I I don't know. I I think it was pretty cool. I'm pretty proud of myself for thinking of that. This one is the transforming itself house, and uh, this one uses business mod to uh, like transform the floor. It'll all your uh, all of your gadgets or whatnot pop up out of the floor and um, then the sand is caught by these pistons uh, timed correctly up there. I'm just going to turn on builders mod real quick so I can destroy all of them faster and uh, we'll put them back in. Then, uh, oh dang it, we'll just put another crafting table there for now. That sometimes happens with the fly mod. And then you can just press this hidden button back here and the sand will fall back down into place. Thought that was that was pretty neat. Um, the most recent thing I built, I built this just like ten, probably about twenty seconds ago, was this uh, trap, which I'll show you in a second after I do this proof of concept thing on a uh, like uh, fireworks or not fireworks but confetti. I thought this would be good for like the end of a puzzle map, where uh, they pull the lever or step on a pressure plate, and confetti pops out because when you move the chests, everything pops out of the chest. So like, you uh, you do that front of the maps, and there's a bunch of them way up in the sky, and uh, I I don't know. I thought it'd be pretty cool, to just see that happen. But uh, yeah, and then this one was just a regular trap. If they ever implement this into the SMP, I am totally going to make it. But what happens is, you're like, oh, pull lever for fun. And cake. Cake. Huh. Definitely could use some cake. Oh. Carol. Oh. Uh. Oof. Of course, I didn't die because I'm using the fly mod and other stuff. Uh. Yeah, I'm, I'm just using the I'm using fly mod, so <laughs> obviously no. I just ran back up that anyway. But then it just uh, uh, pushes this big long thing of blocks into this pool at the end, this unsuspecting pool. And this is how I actually found out that uh, pistons can only push um, 17 blocks. Anyway, uh, that's it for this video. Um, it really helped me. If you could leave a rating, tell me how I'm doing. Um, and, uh, you know, just, um, uh, thanks for watching.